You hear a lot about um, estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. Uh -huh. Those are also hormones. Where do they fit uh, with this cortisol? Because you don't usually hear cortisol. I don't, at least. Okay. So, let's see. Tell me your question again. How do they Where fit Where does together? estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone, which we hear a lot of mm -hmm. in uh, you know literature that we read, but we, I don't well, hear too much about okay, cortisol. Okay, so let's go back to, I'm going to try to answer this question, um, going back to DHEA, because DHEA. DHEA is our mother hormone, and from there, being mother hormone, meaning that the other ones come from the DHEA. So, as this cascades down, one direction it can go is to make uh, cortisol. The other direction is to make progesterone, and then the other side is to come down to testosterone and estrogen, okay? It depends on the person's biochemistry, how it's being shuttled, and how it's being affected by your blood sugar, things like that, your genetics. So what can happen is, with the lab testing that I use, it will check your, your cortisol uh, four times throughout the day, because again, it can be high or low, and then secondly, it's looking at your DHEA, because we want to see... Uh, how are they into relationship to each other? And so, because as your DHEA goes lower and lower, then it has, there's less to be making your estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. This, this is why people have a low sex drive, okay? And they're saying, oh, I just need some, you know, you can take DHEA over the counter, or you can get testosterone for men or women to help balance this out. But if we have to figure out, you know, if we just toned up your adrenal glands, you got your cortisol and your blood sugar back into balance, all those other things start to, they'll start to even out, and then if there's anything left, then you can go in and treat, you know, whether you're doing bio, <clears throat> excuse me, bioidentical hormones, or if you're toning up the ovaries themselves, um, depending on the age of the woman, to get the adrenals back, or I'm sorry, the ovaries back up, producing a little bit more. Does that answer your question?